before the due date he will get the money but at a discount rate discount of rupees 15 percent per annum if the person is not accept the bill means then it is considered as dishonor of bill a bill is said to be dishonored when the drawee fails to make the payment on the date of maturity Hello everyone, I am Meghana from the Department of Commerce, lecturing in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the session 4 of Unit 3, Subject Accountancy. In today's session, let us start with the account procedure. So in today's session, let us discuss with the honor of bill, dishonor of bill, endorsement of bill, discounting of bill, renewal of bill, bill for collection, bills receivable and bills payable. So we just discussed on this topic in today's session. First one, honor of bill. A bill is said to be honored when the acceptor of the bill makes payment on the date specified in the bill. That means the date which mentioned in the bills on that date, if the payable or the person who is liable to pay the money, if he make the payment on the particular date, then it is considered as honor of bill. And honor of bill means payment of the bill with accordance to the tenor of the bill that means at the time of purchase the person don't have a money to pay so they, he takes some time to pay the money so at that time they give the bill so bill for payments so in that bill they have mentioned the date so for example they, they may give you two months date so two months time for the payment of bill so at that time for example two 322 so if they given time till 2322 account payable the person who is liable to pay the money so the person the acceptor of the bill makes the payments the acceptor of the bills make the payment on this date on the mentioned date then that is considered as honor of bill so on the tenor date if the acceptor make the payment then it is considered as honor of bill so you will wait till the second 2 3 that is second march 2022 so you will wait till this date then on the second march you are going to make a payment so then it is considered as honor of bill next dishonor of bill a bill is said to be dishonored when the drawee fails to make the payment on the date of maturity so in the earlier i have given you example 2 3 2022 so if the acceptor of bill is failed to pay the money on this date then it is considered as dishonor of bill so a bill is dishonored either by non-acceptance or by non-payment so either non-payment or if the acceptor fails to pay on the particular date then it is considered as dishonor of bill or non-acceptance of bill if the acceptor is failed to accept the bill if the person is not accept the bill means then it is considered as dishonor of bill so that is the person on whom a bill is drawn or the drawee refused to accept it or if he accepts the bill and agree to pay but later fails to do so on the due date then the bill of exchange is said to be dishonor so if the person is not accept the bill then it is considered as dishonor or else if the person agree but the later they are not going to pay on due date so if he fails to pay on due date then it is considered as dishonor of bill in this you have two cases if the if the person is not accept the bill means then it is dishonored as well as if the person accept and fails to pay on due date means then it is considered as dishonor of bill next one endorsement of bill endorsement of the bill implies the procedure by which the maker or holder of bill transfer the title of the bill in assistance of his or her creditors the individual transferring the title is called endorser and the individual whom the bill is exchanged is called endorsee and endorsement is done by signing at the back of the bill that means here endorsement of bill means implies that procedure by which maker or holder of the bill holder of the bill transfer the title transfer the title of the bill in assistance of his or her 
creditors so here the title of the bill is transport so then it is considered as endorsement of bill here by signing at the back of the bill here they transfer the title of the bill so here when the maker or holder of the bill transfer the title of his or her bill then it is considered as endorsement of bill here the person who individual transferring the title is called the who is transferring the title is called endorser and the person who is receiving or exchanging is considered as endorsee so is new holder then endorser is a existing or old holder next discounting of bill bill discounting is a trade related activity in which a company's unpaid invoice which are due to be paid at a future date are sold to a financier a bank or another financial institution so the company has some unpaid invoices so they are need for finance to meet the expenses to get the finance for a short term periods they are going to sold to financier they are going to sold that invoices to the financier that is bank or any other financial institution to get the money for a to meet their expenses for example suppose a man sold goods to mr x worth rupees 10000 on credit but mr x does not have a money to pay today but he is certain to pay on a later date after 2 months so here he requires 2 months to pay the money so the bill is raised stating mr x to pay rupees 10000 after 2 months so but an urgent need for fund is required by the business now the businessman require fund in a fund so that he cannot wait for 2 months so he cannot wait till 2 months so he require a uh, money urgent thereby he discount his this bill with his bank or bill discounting company now he is going for bank or bill discounting company to discount the bill and to get the money urgently so before its due date before its due date that is at 15% so before the due date he will get the money but at a discount rate discount of rupees 15% per annum so the rate of discount at the rate of 15% discount now the bank pay the drawer an amount of rupees 9750 so by discounting 15% on 10000 they will pay 9750 for the businessman after deducting the application commission that is 250 so 250 rupees is a discount amount they will pay 9750 immediately so the bank will collect 10000 from the bill holder in a future date after 2 months they are going to receive the 10000 rupees money so this is discounting of bills next one renewal of bill when the acceptor of the bill approaches the drawer with the request for an extension of time for the payment now the drawer give the bill to the acceptor he accept to pay on due date but he is not able to pay money on due date so that he approach he approach the drawee to extend the bill date or due date so time for payment the old bill is cancelled so when he request for the extension of time for payment then the old bill is cancelled and fresh bill with a new term of payment is drawn so duly accepted and delivered so this payments duly accepted and delivered this is called renewal of bill if the acceptor fails to pay on due date if he requests the drawer if he requests the drawer if the drawer accepts and renew the renew the date he gives the extra time to pay the money then the old bill is cancelled and the new bill is drawn and accepted duly accepted by the acceptor so it is called renewal of bill next one bill for collection bill for collection is the handling of documents financial and or the commercial by banks in accordance with the instruction received from the exporter in order to first one obtain payment or acceptance next one deliver documents against the payment and or acceptor deliver documents on other terms and conditions so here a bill for collection is a handling documents it is handling documents from the financial or commercial by banks in accordance with the instruction received from the exporters in order to this is the bill for collection is the handling of documents it is done 
in accordance or instruction received from the exporters in order to obtain the payments or in order to deliver the documents against the payment or deliver documents on other terms and conditions. For this purpose, they'll use this bill for collection, bill for collection. This is mainly done with the instruction received from the exporter. Next one, bills receivable. Bills receivable bill is a document that your customer formally agrees to pay at some future date, the maturity date. The bill receivable documents effectively replace for the related amount. The opening debt exchange for the bill, bills receivable are often remitted for the collection and used to secure short term funding. So it's a document which mention due amount and the due date. So this is the document for the evidence that the seller has a right to receive this much of money and on this date. So here they give some date to pay money. So here they will mention the due date and due amount. So it is replaced with the amount on the due date. So this is about bills receivable. Then bills payable. Bills payable or account payable. You can uh, call it as account payable also. So it's a money owned by the business to suppliers shown as a liability on the company's balance sheet. So it's shown as a liability. So you have a liability to pay for your suppliers. It is distinct from notes payable liabilities, which is debts created by the formal legal instruction of documents. It is similar to the bills receivable. In bills receivable, you have a right to receive money from the other person. Here, you have a liability to pay for your suppliers. Here also, they have mentioned the total amount and due date. So, on the date, you need to pay the money. So, it is replaced with the money on the due date. So, you have a certain time to pay that money. So, this is all about bills payable. So, all this is the this information about the uh, this accounting terms. Bills receivable, bills payable, bills for collection, renewal of bill, discounting of bill, inducement of bill, dishonor of bill and honor of bill. So this is all about today's session. Let us meet in the next session. Until then, keep watching. Thank you.